Hey everyone, welcome back to the Storm of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog, and this is our final episode of this show for 2019. Don't worry, we're going to come back with another season. This is just the end of season three. Usually I try to, you know, I, you know, kind of aim for 150 episodes per season, and that's kind of been my goal so far. And so now that we're at episode 450 in just two years, because I think a little over two years ago, we uploaded our first video. It was like the beginning of November. We started this show and uh, of, of 2017, and we were like, you know, getting amped up for the release of Venom in 2018. And then now we've spent all year anticipating and hoping for news on the second movie, which is Venom 2 right now. We, I'm sure maybe it'll have a subtitle, Maximum Carnage, something I don't know yet. Uh, they're still, you know, haven't released any of that information. It's filming under the name Fillmore right now, which is a reference to a theater in uh, San Francisco. So I'm wondering how exactly things are going to tie in. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation right now. And there's Tom Hardy, who is doing what he does best, which is upload things to Instagram and then take them down uh, pretty quickly after. And, uh, and I think that's just part of, I feel, and I could be wrong about this, but I think it's just part of their marketing strategy. I think, you know, he likes to be hands-on. He likes his character. And think about it. From a marketing standpoint, it makes a lot of sense. You don't have to reach out to a website to give them some exclusive or to, you know, to, to get news and buzz going about the movie. All he has to do is post something and then take it down like, you know, half an hour later or, or sooner. And if it's only up for like a minute, that's like an eternity in you, you know, in an online time and someone will grab it, screen grab it and start sharing it. I think everyone now who follows him uh, and myself included, when I see him make a post, I screen grab it instantly because I never know if he's going to take it down. And then, you know, places like me and websites like the Venom site and other places um, and then other news sources that cover it, you know, more mainstream news too, they'll talk about this picture now, or these two pictures that we're going to show here in a second, they'll talk about them and it'll make the rounds and it'll get marketing going for the movie and they didn't spend a dime to do it. They just had Tom upload something to Instagram and then delete it and that makes everyone think it's taboo. Oh, maybe it wasn't supposed to be uploaded. Uh, but I don't think he's really given anything major away with these uploads. So they seem very orchestrated. And I like that. I think it's great. It's working. And it's getting a lot of sites to cover this movie and getting that hype train rolling in for the second movie. So uh, I'm excited. So the two images, I am going to show them because I saw some people like Film Junkie who was like, oh, I don't want to show them because I don't want to get my video taken down. I'm going to put my faith in the fact that this is all planned and that they wanted these videos or these images shared because I saw people tweeting them, posting them. I saw websites, you know, uh, showing them off as well. And if they haven't been taken down or struck by anything, then I'm going to guess that I'll be fine. So uh, without further ado, I want to post the first image here right there. I'll put up for a couple seconds. It's Andy Serkis uh, in what looks like to be a forest. And he's directing a scene for the new Venom movie for Venom 2. And they're filming in London right now. And he's all bundled up. You can see his breath coming out. So it'll be uh, interesting to see where they, you know, how they do this. Because I'm uh, St. Estes, that's going to be the next picture we show. So that was the first image. And Tom Hardy put that up and then deleted it pretty soon after. The second one he left up for a little longer. At least I saw the second one. I didn't see the Andy Circus post, but I did see this one, which is this image here. And it's this rusted old sign that says St. Estes Orphanage. And it says, uh, you know, uh, uh, boarding for the unwanted children or something like that. It's like, you know, something on the bottom there um, where it's like, you know, saying it's a place for orphans. Or, or, um, and they word it really harshly, you know, saying that's unwanted children. Um, but in the comic, St. Estes was, was originally, I think, in New York or right outside New York City or something. And that is a direct connection to Cletus Cassidy. And this got me really excited because, you know, as we know from the end of the last movie, we had Cletus Cassidy sitting in a jail cell and he's talking to Eddie Brock and he says, you know, he's being interviewed like Eddie Brock's getting this exclusive interview with, uh, interview with him uh, because I guess Cletus has taken an interest in Eddie on his rise back to, you know, uh, getting back up, you know, in the the limelight of people, you know, like because he was kind of ousted by the Life Foundation. And then after that, you know, went south for the Life Foundation, uh, Eddie seemed to be getting his life back on track. And so he wanted to do this interview with Cletus Cassidy and I guess Cletus permitted it to happen. And the reason they want this is because the government set it up because they want something from Cletus. They apparently there are bodies that he still hasn't confessed to or murders that are still out there that they are that are unsolved and they want someone to crack the story. And I guess Eddie at this point proves himself as someone who blew up kind of like the Life Foundation and, and the conspiracies they were hiding. Um, so now Eddie is, you know, interviewing him. So this picks up at least just this one image. I'm like, this says a lot about which direction they're gonna go with the character because if you know, Cletus is responsible for these bodies that no one's found yet and these uh, murders that have been unsolved. I wonder if that ties into the St. Estes Orphanage, because as you know, in the comics, Cletus Cassidy, when he was a boy, 
pushed his grandmother down the stairs, which killed her. Um, he killed the family dog. And then he um, tried to kill his mother. She was taking a bath or something like that. And he tried to kill her. And uh, what ended up happening is she got out. She like escaped. She got electrocuted. He like threw something electrical into the tub, plugged in. And she survived it and came out and tried to kill him. But as she was trying to, uh, Cletus's father showed up and killed her. And then, the, and then his father went to jail for it. And that left Cletus to be an orphan. Um, and so that's why he's at the St. Estes Orphanage or School for Boys or whatever it was called in the comics. And, uh, and so now I'm looking at this sign and I'm thinking, wow, this sign says a lot. It says that one, they're going to touch on that origin story. They're going to show that Cletus was, um, you know, an orphan. And they're also going to probably address the bodies. Like maybe the government doesn't know about his attempt on his mom's life. Maybe they don't know about him killing his grandmother. Maybe they think those are freak accidents that are unrelated. Um, maybe even the orphanage in the comics, he burnt it down. So when you see this sign, it looks rusted and, and you know, kind of burnt-ish a little bit and, and definitely decrepit and old. Um, so who knows? Maybe he, you know, he burned down the orphanage and never got caught for that either. So... I love this. Like, I'm just thinking of all the possibilities. And we saw, remember, his journal was, like, shown off at, like, New York Comic Con or one of those places, um, like, a year ago or when the movie came out. And it had some uh, tidbits and stuff of, uh, it was, or it wasn't Cletus Cassidy's journal, it was Eddie Brock's, but he wrote stuff about Cletus in his journal. And so I was thinking about that in that video we made. And uh, and I was like, wow, that's cool. Like, that they're, they are trying to tie this all together. And they're picking up, it seems like, right where the first movie left off. And they're making that teaser that we got at the end of the movie actually matter to the plot of this movie. It wasn't like, oh, here's carnage and, and we just threw it in there they kind of maybe did in the first movie almost like not in the way like sinestro was done in green lantern i felt like that was very forced this one i was like all right this makes a little bit of sense eddie's on the rise again he's you know and that's so now he's going to go do these interviews but to see that it might now directly connect to the second movie and we're going to learn about saint estes we're going to learn about cletus's past his origin that's great because i felt like the one thing about carlton drake was we didn't get a, a full sense of him as a character we just got a couple lines of dialogue that kind of give you his motivation where you can kind of understand his motivation, but you didn't really know him as a character. And I feel like this is nice because it's, it seems like it's going the character direction. Uh, and of course that, you know, that might not be true. We never know. Uh, but it's, it looks like they're, they're at least attempting that. And the fact that they're going to deal with the St. Estes orphanage and the fact that it burnt down and that there could be a link there to Cletus uh, and is very like, uh, you know, crime drama sense to it. I mean, that'd be really cool if that was Eddie's journey in this one was the journalist side of him being more of a focus and him getting into like CD places like eight millimeter. Like I love that movie with uh, Nick Cage and I think Joaquin Phoenix is in it too. And, uh, and I love that movie cause it's like a detective looking for like the looking for an answer in the one of the most heinous crimes that he's ever encountered and that would be interesting if that's eddie's journey in this movie is that he's going deeper down this rabbit hole this this spiral of madness um to you know understand cletus and then cletus becoming you know a, an anti version of him you know uh you know his offspring or you know ca becoming carnage so this is great i mean just these two images seeing andy working and uh, and then also you know which doesn't show us much just shows him that he's in the woods so i guess that that's around the the sign you know where they filmed uh the saint estes part because the sign is like looks like there's some wooded area around it too uh but uh yeah and i guess that's on the out outskirts of some city so maybe this is a clue that eddie is going to return to new york in this movie if saint estes is going to stay in new york um or who knows maybe it's going to be you know north of san francisco maybe it'll, they'll transfer the location to northern california um or even up to seattle or somewhere around there where eddie has to go up you know north to find this place um so i don't know we'll see but i i, I love it there's a lot of possibilities here so i wanted to bring it to your attention i'm sure you guys all knew about it i post about it on instagram and twitter um and then also here i did like a just a text post uh, with the picture and stuff but i wanted to make a video because i thought this would be a great way to close out our season here you know the summer of carnage which is now december so it's not even summer anymore but we've covered all the absolute carnage stuff all those comics and everything and i thought i want to do something kind of carnage related and venom 2 related for the final episode and look and then i got a little sick and i you know couldn't cover too much so the last episode we covered a ton of news but in this one i was like this is a great send-off i think you know we're we're ending where carnage journey begins and i think that's a good place to end season three here is that we're ending at his origin point st sd's orphanage so i wanted to share these images with you i wanted to get your thoughts please let me know what they are down below and we'll have our conversation down there as always and let me know what you uh, you know if you like this season you know if there's anything this season i did that you didn't like or things you want me to try more of please let me know uh next season i do have a new intro it's going to be more uh themed towards agent venom new theme song as well um and uh and then a couple other things that i'm working on i'm still working on so we probably won't have another 
pre-recorded episode like this, we probably won't have another one until like early to mid January. It'll probably be the end of the first week of January or like the beginning of the second week of January, somewhere around there, like the somewhere between like the 7th and the 10th of January. So uh, yeah, I, I got other things going on and I'm, I'm trying to maneuver a lot of stuff and get my work life, you know, situated and uh, and then also wrap up work because it's got this very busy season for me working in toys and all uh, at Christmas. So, uh, so I'm going to be very slammed, um, but we will do live streams between now and season four so season four maybe like three four weeks away or three weeks away um or maybe four weeks away we'll see um but uh but any news that comes out for this movie we'll cover on a live stream and i'll at least do one live stream a week and maybe if there's no movie news we'll just talk random venom stuff uh, but if there is movie news, you know, we can do that too. And we can discuss it there. Uh, we'll do Q and A's, all kind of things like that with you guys. So don't worry, the show's not going away. It's just taking a small hiatus. And during that time, I'm still going to at least do one live stream a week. It's going to be random because I have to do it whatever day I, I have off from work or whatever time I have available. So make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, which is at Venom Vlog on both of them. And if you follow me there, you'll see my posts. I, I usually give like a 30 to minute to one hour warning of like when I'm going to go. And I'll try to post here on YouTube too as a text post. But I notice a lot of you guys haven't been getting them. YouTube hasn't been notifying and stuff. So we're running into those problems again as well. So I'm sorry about that. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so you get notified. Um, I know sometimes that doesn't always work either. So that's why follow me on Twitter and Instagram too. So that way you can see when I'm going to do my live streams and that way you can be a part of it. Because uh, that's why I wanted to do them is so I can directly talk to all of you. So yes, this has been a fun season, 450 episodes in two years. I'd like two years in, in like five weeks, I guess. Uh, but uh, I owe it all to you guys. Like when I started the show, it was more of a personal journey and I wasn't sure how many people would jump on board, especially since I've tried so many things here on YouTube and nothing ever really stuck, you know, like I, I got some Transformer fans and that, that happened. And then before I worked at Lego, I did a couple Lego things and I was like, okay, well now I gotta, you know, can't do too much of Lego because I work for the company now. So um, there's all these different hurdles that we had to go through before we landed with Venom. And that was the one thing that I was like, you know what? No one's probably going to watch this. I'll do it when I can. Maybe I'll start off by, you know, cooking. And I had all these like weird ideas at the beginning of the show. And it was about like, you know, personal health and mental health and all these things. And, uh, and now that we're past that phase where, yeah, I lost, I, I, I got close to the weight I wanted to get to, but then I gained it all back. Unfortunately, when, when you get sick and stuff and you know, it's like, it's inevitable. Uh, I just bounce up and down all the time with my weight, but at least mentally, I feel like I'm in a much better place than I was when I started the show. And that comes from you guys being so amazing and talking to me on every episode and leaving your comments and your thoughts and uh, dissecting this character and going on this journey with me for the movies. Uh, it just, it means a lot and it's, it really has helped me in a lot of ways. And so I thank you. And, I, and this is what I love is that I keep moving forward. I, I haven't gone back. I, you know, I get, sure I get down sometimes, but not nearly the way I used to. Like now when I get down, it's, it's pretty legit. It's because like, you know, like bills will pile up or, or health will, you know, uh, you know, cause me to uh, a lot of, uh, you know, stress and everything and, or work might, you know, too. So it, it's, it's like real human things now. It's not like just me being, uh, you know, sad about stuff like for, for some of it for no reason. Like, uh, now it's like, okay, I, now I just deal with things as they come and I, and I try to keep my chin up while it happens. And it's because you guys are so great and you guys uh, su support me so much and it means the world to me. So, uh, this show is not going anywhere. It's just taking a little break, but in January, we'll come back with season four. We'll cover all the movie stuff. I'm sure around February, or March, we're probably going to get a teaser trailer for Venom 2. I know Morbius will probably get a trailer for that at some point soon too. So there's a lot of things coming up on the show that we're going to dive into, a lot of discussions to be had, and some live streams coming up uh, to fill in the gap between this season and next season. So thank you all if you've been here since episode one, if you've been here before, if you came in during, it doesn't matter. It means the world to me that you're here, and hopefully you stay along for the ride because we're, we're just getting started. We got Venom 2 coming up, so we got a lot more videos to make, and I'm sure we're going to fly through the next 150 videos videos in a breeze with all the stuff that's coming up so thank you all for being here i will see you in the future as always and let me know your thoughts down below so we can talk down there thanks so much peace